Uncle Mud here with my rocket heater and Jeff and I have installed uh, like a 13 gallon tank on top of it and this is a video of that tank as Jeff goes and takes a shower it started out at about 155 degrees and what we want to see is over the course of this shower what the temperature in the tank does. So this is a standard 8 inch rocket mass heater that heats my barn and this has an electric water heater, an on-demand digital electric water heater that uh, at 40 amps uses a lot of electricity and barely provides enough uh, water for a uh, tepid shower that's not very powerful in the winter because the uh, groundwater temperature is about uh, well it's about 45 degrees when it gets into the barn here and uh, So the idea here is to have a pre-warmer, a tempering tank, but we just happen to have it sitting on top of the rocket heater, and it's set so that it can't uh, uh, get above about 160 degrees, and then we have a thermostatic valve over here. You can see the cold water coming in. cold water coming in and then the hot water coming out of the top of the tank next to the pressure relief valve and uh, coming into our tempering valve and let's take a look around here you can see cold water coming into the tank and it mixes with the water that's in there and it cools the whole thing down pretty quickly. We started out about 155, the center of it's about 140 there. But let's see if we can get a temperature on our tempering valve. This, one, this pipe here Water's still about 160 degrees coming into that pipe there. And there's our tempering valve. And the water coming out of that tempering valve is about 115. And then it comes across the room. You can see the water coming out. We've set this uh, on-demand heater to 91 degrees so that Jeff won't get frozen um, when we run out of water. We're still about 115 degrees coming in there. It's kind of cool seeing all the different thermal images in the room. It's nice and warm over here. Come back over where we were to begin with. So this point that we were pointing at to begin with is down to about 120 degrees, 121 degrees, down from about 150. 
and we're five minutes into a shower. So, so far, that's 150, that's five minutes of showering that we haven't had to have the electric running for. This is the back of those pipes coming out to the shower. And it's about 106, 100 97 degrees or so coming out of there. Looks like Jeff has turned off the water. Water in the tank is at about 117 degrees, six and a half minutes into the shower, down below where the cold comes in. You can see it starts to warm up. At the bottom of the fire keeps warming that. And up here where the water's coming out, it's still 155 degrees up there where the hot water is coming out. The top of the rocket. It's above 200 even though we haven't really been feeding it. I suppose. some wood in there. Jeff doesn't appear to be taking a shower from the fact that the water heater is not on. I don't hear water going through it. <laughs> 